Hi guys. Oh. Hi guys. Okay, so um, I had somebody a long couple of months ago ask me, like, what do I, some of the meals that I eat that I did to lose weight. Um, I still have to make that update on my weight loss, but just to let you know the stats, I was 243 pounds December of 2006. It's December 2007, and I'm 195, you guys. I'm under 200 pounds. I weighed myself yesterday, and I was 195. Okay, so somebody asked me, what do I eat? So I'm going to try to start showing people what I eat. But um, just to um, show you a little most important thing, you don't have to go crazy when you're trying to lose weight. You can still have soda, because I have soda. I usually drink this, Coca-Cola Zero, but I have plenty of water. That's my water. I drink water all the time. I go through, I have like seven of these, and I go through these like nothing. And then I drink these, the V8 Low Sodium, when I don't eat a lot of vegetables. Um, I snack on these, too, the Honey Mate Stick, um things, whatever. But right now I want to show you what I make for a snack or for lunch. Okay, so I'm going to make a quick tuna sandwich. So I got my bread, whole wheat bread. It's being toasted right here. So I have two pieces of toasted bread. Forget that Atkins bull crab. You need carbs. So, after I do that, I have the tuna right there, which I use. Let me show you guys. I use this kind of tuna right here. It's Star Kiss tuna in water. It's in water. It's really, really good. Um, after that, I get some mayonnaise right here, the light one. It's only 20 calories uh, for a tablespoon and one set of grams. So I put like one tablespoon in there like that. I don't put eggs in my tuna, so you may not see no eggs. And then I use a little bit of relish. I use the organic kind because it doesn't have any um, corn syrup, high fructose corn syrup, and it's 15 calories for one tablespoon, I think. And I put about a tablespoon in there like that and then I put a little mustard in mine because I like mustard you guys so sometimes I put mustard in it put a little mustard in there just to give it a little taste then I put garlic powder in mine just to give it some taste and uh, sometimes I put onion powder in it to give it like a little paste I don't put a lot I just put a little like that and then I do pepper right here Hold on, I have to put the pepper in there. Like that. And then I mix it up. Mix it up. Hold on, I'm going to try to do some quick camera action. I'm going to hold the camera with my chin. It's not going to work, so I have to put it down, you guys. Okay, and that's how it looks once it's mixed up. It's not going to look like that traditional tuna because I didn't put a lot of tuna, I mean mayonnaise in it. But then I get lettuce right here. I'm going to get the lettuce out. Okay, so I got the lettuce out and I put it on the sandwich. And then I just put some of the tuna on there, which I'll do. And then I just put the tuna on top like this and I cut it in half and I eat it with some apples. And then I get a bottle of water. And there's my lunch. And it takes like less than like five minutes to do. And it's, it's a healthy lunch. You just can't think everything is bad. You got your protein from the tuna. You got your whole wheat toast. Then you have for your carbs. Then you have your lettuce for your vegetable, and then you have some apples. And that's what I eat sometimes when I want to cook something. I mean, make something real fast that doesn't take a long time, and it's not really expensive. And if you like tuna, it's good. 
and you don't have to put eggs and stuff in it and it's really fast and um, if you make the tuna and put it in the refrigerator and eat it the next day it's good too so just for that person who wanted to know what I eat this is just one of the meals that I like to eat so I'm going to end this video because I'm ready to eat so I'll talk to you guys later bye